God Hits. Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. I'm your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. So guys, I told you guys on the um, the last video that was like this, that I would be dropping quite a few messages that were longer than shorts, but not super longer than five minutes. So I want to just jump right in on this one. And as you can see from the, the, uh, the coverage of this, am I saying not cover? What I'm trying to say, y'all? From the picture, why did I say cover? Anyway, y'all, forgive me. <laughs> um, as you can see from the picture, the name of this is Before It's Too Late. The scripture reference that God gave me was Genesis 19, 23 through 26, and it reads, Lot reached the village just as the sun was rising over the horizon. Then the Lord rained down fire and burning sulfur from the sky on Sodom and Gomorrah. He utterly destroyed them along with the other cities and villages of the plain, wiping out all the people and every bit of vegetation. But Lot's wife looked back as she was following behind him and she turned into a pillar of salt. So y'all today I'm talking about before it's too late. Okay. So what God was showing me through a series of events and just some deep, um, I will just say revelation is that there are some options, choices, and decisions that are going to be at the forefront of some of you all's lives, okay? So the first thing that I mentioned was options, okay? And I want to break down to you what that means. Now, this is, you really have to pay attention. Now, I will say this, believe it or, believe it or not, for some of you listening who are into stocks, I am literally talking about options for you, like stock options, but only you that's listening, you would know that, Okay? Do what you need to do before it's too late. I don't know if you got to pull out. I don't know if you got to buy in. I don't know if you got to, you know, just, just, just ride it out. I don't know what you have to do, but you have been praying about a stock option. In fact, some of you multiple. And all I can tell you is before it's too late, do whatever you need to do before it's too late. Okay. I hope that blessed whomever. Now options for the rest of you. An option is a thing that is, or may be chosen. So what God is saying to you, before it's too late, you still do have some options to choose. You can pick the thing that you want, but don't take it for granted that that option will always be there because God is moving things quickly. And for those of you, hear me out, for those of you have who have decided, my life is cool, is great, I love how it is, but on today, just in case, I don't have no ego, I'm going to say, Lord, what exactly do you want me to do? Am I living my life the way you want me to live it? And I'm going to tell you something right now. If you're too afraid to ask God that question, you already know the answer. Because we're coming into a season that you have to hop on things and handle your business because things are going to go quickly. I know we've been hearing that for years about acceleration, but I know in particular what I'm talking about. Listen, you need to do it before it's too late. There is a sense of urgency. Yes, there is. And what I noticed is... From some of the things that God was showing me, some people are, are they're mixing up the two. They want you to rush and be urgent to do things that are of no importance. And then your, your energy and your focus is not on the thing that re really, that really requires that of you. Okay. So the next thing that you have to be thinking about for some of you, you will have a choice. Now, usually when you have a choice, okay, now watch this. A choice is an act of selecting or making a decision when faced with two or more possibilities. So some of you have to choose between something, okay? Now, before it's too late, you need to make a choice, y'all. The underlying theme is this. You have to decide on something and the time is of the essence. The reason why God gave me that scripture in Genesis, preferably about Lot's wife. It wasn't so much about Lot's wife turning around and uh, turning into a pillar of salt, but it was more about the fact that God was quickly destroying everything that he no longer wanted to be in place. And he didn't want anybody or anything that looked back at it or wanted to be a part of it to continue on with him. And so you have to pay attention to that because time is of the essence. She was faced with two choices to look ahead or look back. And she made the wrong choice. This is not to scare you, but this is to prompt you to go and speak to the Lord. I don't care who you think you like. I don't care who you think you're friends with. I don't care who you think you're cool with. Shut everybody else out. Everybody, even if you got to shut yourself out, shut it down. Go before the Lord, humble yourself and say, Lord, 
show me something because I'm going to tell y'all what this whole thing is for. This is divisive and the enemy is trying to keep people out of their purpose. There are so many people that have been doing the same thing right for the longest time and because they have the wrong people around them making them think that that's the thing it's it's throwing them off and what happens y'all this happens to the best of us this is not about this is not about other people more than it's about you understanding what God is trying to put in front of you and the very last thing before I go out y'all I talked about decisions now oddly enough the word decision is actually in the definition of choice but if you break down a decision, it's a conclusion or a resolution reached after consideration. So this is the part that you have to really pay attention to. Some of you have to be careful what you are considering and who you are running that process through. Because what's going on is this. If you are engaging things, situations and behaviors that are not of God, do you know the enemy can make you quote unquote feel something in your spirit too and you're going to think it's God? Do you know you can say God told me and God didn't really tell you that? You do know that, right? Because what happens is you're opening you're opening up a door for the mimicking. You are opening up the door for the enemy to say, "Well, psh, they look, I'm gonna I'm gonna make them think I'm gonna make them think it's God. I'll just go ahead and do it." It's just like it's just like being so desperate for something that you get a counterfeit version of it. That's why you have to be so careful because one thing about God is this, you know, God going to be silent and be who he is. But what do we also see about Jesus? Jesus, best friend, a whole best friend, Peter, when Peter got around the wrong people, they made that boy think Jesus was not who he was. Y'all better pay attention. Okay. Options, choices, decisions. The Lord is very clear about this. It is glaring. And I had to put it out today. Hear me out. Pay attention. Make your decisions, come to your resolutions and considerations, but do it before it's too late. There is urgency, but this is how you can move in urgency without rushing, without making a harsh, brash decision. Cause that is where, the, that's where the everything is dismantling right there. You have no idea how much stuff is going on right now behind the scenes and even in front of the scenes, hiding in plain sight that has that mission and it's getting too many people caught up. I'm telling y'all the type of calls and things y'all been emailing me and sharing with me and texting. It's, it's crazy. It's happening to so many different people. There's not even one focus because it's constantly happening. So you have to understand if it's happening in mass like that, where so many people are having the experiences, then God is trying to speak to us so hear me out when i say if you are faced with an option be it a personal option or a stock option you have to go to the lord with that if you are you are faced with a choice between two or more things you go to the lord with that and if you have to make a decision please be careful who you are considering in this process because when i tell you this when when, when your purpose is so phenomenal and so astounding and great there is a very heavy three-part agenda sent to try to keep you from it believe that OK, there is something very deep in place to make you think that what you got going on is God and it is not. Trust me, I am speaking to you from my own experiences. I have done this before. It was not one of my proudest moments. In fact, a few of my <laughs> I can go back 10 years, my teenage years. I'm not I'm not going to stun in front of y'all. OK, but the goal, y'all, is not to be right. The goal is to be righteous. Show yourself some grace and mercy, but get on your job, walk in urgency, not rushing and consider the source before you go jump to people and start listening to a bunch of people or start hearing a voice in your own head. Please stop and go bring that to the Lord and let the Lord work that thing out for you before you move forward. That is to your detriment in this hour and this season. So I hope this bless somebody. I hope that you are well and stay tuned. I got a few more of these coming up. Another one might drop today, but just just be on the lookout. I'm wired to inspire. I hope you are too.